And following his historic visit to Cuba, President Obama and the first family have now arrived in Argentina for a two-day visit today. This is Mr. Obama's first trip to that country since becoming president. And reaction is still coming in on the president's historic visit. Some Florida lawmakers are calling it shameful. Local 10 News reporter Hudson Vela is live in Cuba this midday with more details and also a big event happening later in Havana this week. Constance uh, Christie, I can tell you that these are lawmakers from South Florida who have been highly critical of the president's policy towards Cuba. Let's start off with Congressman Mario Diaz Villar. In a statement, here is what he is saying President Obama's attendance at a baseball game, gleeful handshakes with the Cuban people's oppressors, and seeming apologetic tone with continued request for indulgence were sickening to those who know the true malevolence of the Castro regime. It is shameful, he said, that President Obama seeks to sustain the same dictatorship that murdered brothers to the rescue, humanitarians Carlos Costa, Armando Alejandro Jr., Mario de la Peña, and Pablo Morales. Congresswoman Ileana Ross Layton also weighed in here. This continued effort to legitimize this regime and its atrocities is appalling. It's appalling for those people who love freedom. It's appalling for those who have been political prisoners in Castro's gulags. It's appalling for those families who have lost their loved ones because of this communist regime. Today is a sad day indeed, and this poster says it all. Smiling in front of Che Guevara, get the t-shirt now. In his speech, President Obama started by saying he wants to bury the last remnants of the Cold War. He called on Congress to end the embargo, but was clear about democracy as a way to open up debate and improve the lives of Cubans on the island. Democracy is messy, he said, but it works because there is debate. He urged Cubans to eliminate the two-currency system and to give everyone access to the Internet. The president and Raul Castro made an appearance at a baseball game later on where he, the Tampa Bay Rays played against the Cuban team. The first family was also there along with a significant number of lawmakers. The stadium was packed. 50,000 people said to have been there. A lot of energy inside in the first game between an American baseball team and a Cuban team since 1990. Tampa Bay Rays won 4-1. to But you know what? It's not over because the big event is still happening. The Rolling Stones are still coming to Cuba. That big concert is scheduled for Friday. And here is a sneak peek at what they're saying. <laughs> This is a promotional video put on by the Stones where they say they've performed in many incredible places, but this concert in Havana is going to be a historic event. They hope that it is historic for Cubans as well, and they thank the Cubans for welcoming, welcoming them to their country. Christy Constance, I know you're jealous because guess what? I'm going to be there and bring you all the live pictures on Friday. Ladies, back to you. Uh, yeah, we are really jealous, of course, and our live coverage continues throughout the day. Stay with Local 10 and Local10.com for more live reports on the historic visit.